Okay, so I've been doing these videos and I love them and I'm so excited about the year to come leading up to the Olympics. But yes, I'm going to take some time to give a shameless plug to my new book. Yay! That was me and my wig. That was my favorite wig ever. I love it. I didn't have to try to do my hair, which was awesome. It always looked perfect, except for when it was a little crooked. Um, anyways, shameless plug, it's not about perfect. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of gymnasts that are reading this book. And I absolutely love that. I hope that you find it um, inspiring and motivational for sure. I hope that you find something in there that you can um, grasp and just hold on to each and every day, just some little little nugget that will help you further your goals, um, maybe overcome a, a really difficult obstacle or, or break through a challenge. So I hope that um, people will get that from the book. And and for the, the huge gymnastics fans out there, I hope you have fun reading kind of my take from uh, the Olympic Games and, and countless other competitions that I went through. It was really fun kind of going back and, and reliving some of those moments. And I had to do actually a lot of research. Um, I was, watched a lot of YouTube videos. I even watched the 1996 Olympics for the first time ever. I'd never seen the actual coverage of it. Uh, I was just used to living it. And I had seen my Beamer routine, I think a few thousand times. But um, but other than that, it was really interesting to see what viewers saw versus kind of what we felt and saw down on the floor. So um, it really kind of helped round out the experience for me, which was really interesting. Um, I think it was, it was fascinating also as now a broadcaster and kind of um, getting to see how uh, we are able to shape what's going on. It was really very fascinating uh, to watch and, and a lot of fun. And you would think that I would know how it ends so I wouldn't get all stressed and nervous and white knuckled. But yeah, I was just really nervous. It wasn't going to turn out the way I thought it did. <laughs> um, but it's been great. If you're not a reader, hey, that's okay. It's on audio. Oops. It's on audio as well. So download it. You can listen to it in your car on the way to a workout. How inspiring would that be? Um, but all kidding aside, um, this was really a, um, a two years of, of really hard work and um, just a passion for putting my story out there, um, primarily uh, with regard to my cancer diagnosis and, and that challenge. And uh, basically talking about lessons that I learned through gymnastics, because I do feel like those were the most important lessons that I have learned in life. Um, goal setting, consistency counts, having a positive attitude, um, all of those things that really matter in life, not just on the next event. So I hope that um, you'll check it out or, or ask a friend about it and, um, and enjoy, enjoy the reading, but also enjoy the pictures. They were so much fun. Basically, they asked me to, you know, take thousands and thousands of pictures from my whole life, narrow it down to about 20, which is really hard to do when you're trying to capture everything. And um, so it was interesting and fun, but I loved going back and looking through all the old photos. And I'm going to start Instagramming a bunch of those that, um, that I wasn't able to fit all in the book because we didn't want it to be 800 pages. But um, I'm going to go through and start Instagramming some of those because they were pretty funny and um, some pretty amazing competition photos as well. So again, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm excited because this year is going to be awesome with all kinds of gymnastics information and talk. So I want to hear from you. If you have questions about what's going on with the current athletes uh, leading up to and during the uh, the PNG championships in Indianapolis in August, world championships leading into the Rio Olympic Games, just Reach me on Twitter, Shannon Miller 96. That's Instagram as well. And um, on Facebook, it's Shannon Miller Official. And I will try to pick out as many of those questions as I can and get to them th through this video series. Um, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get all the answers there. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, you can watch more videos below. And if you have a question for me, make sure to tweet me at ShannonMiller96 with the hashtag Shannon's Take. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get all of the answers to all of your questions. See you next time.